and the snow is still falling here in the Philadelphia area as well. So let's check in with Alicia Reed. She is still at Mifflin Square Park in South Philly, and we're still waiting to see some kids out there having fun. How's it look, Alicia? Hey, Jan, still no kids, so we decided to take a walk. We're a little few blocks away from the park, and we found some people working. People are out now digging out, but as you can see, although they're digging out, the snow is still coming down, and so that means the layering is, is continuing. And even throughout, like, all these blocks, you know, it's the snow, it's just there. While walking over, I almost pulled my back because I'm trekking through a bunch of snow. I want to show you. Look over here, Mike. So where the sidewalk ends and where the street starts, I can't really tell. And so, like, walking through some of this, it gets to you, you know. After a while, you start feeling it in your legs. You start feeling it in your back. And so I want to cross the street. Come on, Mike. I want to show you here. Look at the roadways, right? Look at this car coming down the road. It is moving so slowly, and that is literally how the vehicles have been driving today because the roadways have not been touched. The side streets here that we're on just have not been touched by the plow trucks as yet because, you know, like we've been saying all morning, they're working, but it's becoming more and it's becoming difficult for them to get to all the side streets. So they're focusing on a lot of the main roads, the highways to get to the streets that a lot of people are working on before they get to some of these side streets but the great news is for the people in the neighborhoods they are taking it slowly and as well the people that live here are starting to come out and they're starting to really get the the the, the sidewalks you know cleared up but then there are places like this where you can see you know there's um you know between the the, the roadway and the sidewalk it's just the snow is really starting to accumulate and so I'll tell you, if this doesn't stop anytime soon, I might have to, I might need some help because it's it's getting harder and harder to move around. I sound like I haven't worked out in a long time, but you know that's just because it's kind of difficult getting around now that we're in a location where the snow has actually accumulated. So you know, by the time you talk to us again, I'm hoping we'll find some kids. I'm really on a mission right now to find some kids, Jan. But for now, we're you know keeping our eyes on the roads and, and seeing. Thankfully, a lot of cars are taking it slow, but at the same time, you know, there's just still so much work to be done. So if you're coming out, make sure to take it slow and just uh, be careful out there. Jan? Alicia, we might need to get you some snowshoes. That might help with the walking around. Oh. No, no, like I those, have the real snow. Like these the are real actually, snow yeah, shoes. these are some, these are good ones. Oh, they <laughs> so like some real ones. You don't think these are pretty good? <laughs> oh, really? I, these are pretty good. They feel good. You know, my feet are still warm. We've been out here for a couple hours, maybe, what, five plus hours? And uh, I still feel pretty good, but it is hard trekking through all this snow. Yeah, it is. It's that really hard. That wind takes it out of you, yeah. too. The cold just takes your breath away. Yeah. Thank you so much, Alicia. Try to get warm if you can. Nope.